Okay, guys. So, uh, this is part two of animal registration. I'll teach you how to microchip uh, camels. The last time that we did it, uh, you didn't see how it's uh, put in in the camel. So this time, I'll show you a close-up look on how it's done. Okay, so we have we have uh, 14 camels that we need to identify and put microchips on them. All right, let's go. Okay, so for uh, animal identification or for camel identification, usually the challenging part is catching the camels. I I will uh, I will show you an alternative way of catching the camel in this video, and uh, there is uh, a normal way of catching it. So just uh, if the camel is trained, you just bring the rope. If you see my video on the camel restraint, that's that's how we usually restrain it. But if the camel is not uh, trained to be handled, not trained uh, to, to be restrained, so it's uh, a little difficult to catch it. But anyway, we'll, I'll go ahead and show you that on, in this video. Okay, so let's catch the, the animal and uh, so we can proceed with the work. Jib, 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 kabir, tawil, habil. Fitabil Habil? Alam? So we read that? Level day. Okay. Connect, connect. Okay. okay. Here's the microchip again. Okay. Uh, Put it on the owner's name. Place it on the applicator. Like so. Remove the cover. Okay. So we need to put, we need to restrain the animal, and then, as you can see, this is where we put, it. and then we, we check it, and then we put spray so we know that this animal is clean, and then we release the animal. Okay, so that's how it is done. We'll, uh, I'll show you again on another animal. All right, so uh, in this clip, I wanted to show you one of the ways to capture camels in this method using a uh, lasso, a loop of rope that you throw onto the animal's head and catch it on the neck. So I learned this when I was in college in our animal production uh, subject. I never thought that it would be useful for camels. So once caught in a lasso, get an extra rope to place it as a lead rope or uh, in horses we call it the halter then we either tie the rope to a resilient pole or catch the camel's upper and lower lips which is the usual restraint method used for this uh, video then we apply a bit of spray onto the left and right side of the animal so whichever way it's facing we know who's done and not then we proceed to the next one until we finish to the last one. In this method, animals and personals would, you know, have minimal contact and less stress for the animals. So the quicker that we finish the procedure, uh, the better. So catching them by hand will take forever. And that will, of course, take uh, a toll on both animals and humans. So, okay. Hello guys, good morning again. Um, we're back on we're back at work and we're on our we're, we are on our way to visit those uh, three horses that we uh, uh, made treatment yesterday so uh, hopefully they're all doing better so we'll go ahead and check them today check the temperature hopefully 
the temperature will be uh, back to normal. All right, so uh, this is horse number one. As uh, you can see, it is a lot more lively and active today. Its uh, interest in food is back and already roaming around its paddock. So it's always a good sign that uh, they're feeding. It's like um, their language telling us that uh, they are already doing and feeling better. And uh, with horse number two, it's obviously emaciated. However, today its appetite also has returned. And uh, upon checking the temperatures of all three horses, uh, they were at 37 degrees Celsius. So back to normal. All the horses uh, are already doing fine. So we are closing this case and uh, I'm just hoping for the best for these animals. And uh, we'll await for our next uh, treatment. We'll see what will come. And hopefully by then you will also join me. And for now, I want to say goodbye. Goodbye. And uh, I hope that you will subscribe, share, and like my channel. So thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, so. Yeah,